Alright, in this video, we're going to talk about the graph cut segmentation in OpenCV using Python. So we'll start off by saying what it is, why do we need it, how does it work, and jump right into a coding example. So at the end of this video, we will see how we could get this image here on the right, which removes the background from the foreground. So what is graph cut segmentation? It's a method of segmenting objects in an image, and specifically in this case, we're removing the background. But you can see here it's not always quite perfect, and we'll go into details about that later on. So why do we need graph cut segmentation? Um, the idea is you could interactive, interactively update the segmentation results. So that's kind of the main benefit of this method, as we will see in our coding. So how does a graph cut segmentation work? The idea is it tries to separate the background and the foreground into a graph structure. So here is an image of a graph, and the idea is you want to do what's called a graph cut, which will try to cut this graph in half, and this will essentially break up the graph into the foreground and back background. Okay, and this uses this thing called a min cut algorithm, and it cuts the graph in half. Um, and the way it does this is trying to minimize the cost function, which we won't go into details about, but um, essentially, there's an optimization method that is using to try to make this happen. And most of these edges, uh, this is going to represent some probability of it being in either categories, and that will help with the optimization. Okay, so let's jump right into the coding example. Okay, so as usual, let's go ahead and read in the modules that we will be using. So we have import cv2 as cv, import matplotlib.pyplot. PyPlot as PLT, import NumPy as MP, import OS. And we're going to make a function called def graph cut seg. And we have our if name equals main here, and we'll call our graph cut segmentation function. So inside of here, let's quickly read in our image. So os.getcwd. And we have our image path equals os.path.join. And we're going to pass in our root, demo images, tesla.jpg. Okay, so our image here, we're going to do cv.umread, and we're going to pass in our image path. Okay, and we're going to do some conversion, so cv.cvt, color, image, and then cv.color, uh, bgr, bgr to rgb. Okay, so now that we have the color channels that we want, we have plt.figure. Let's go ahead and plot it, plt.subplot. I'm going to do a 2, 3, 1 structure. And plt.umshow, plot the image. And plt.show here to let it show. So if I go ahead and run this, we should see our image. Voila, looks good. And now let's make a new subplot. Call it 232. Two. This will be the next step. So, here what we're going to do is um, run the graph cut method and see how it looks. So, we have our rows and columns and then image shape here. And then we have our mask. So, the idea is you want to create an empty mask. So, mp.zeros. I'm going to pass in the rows and columns. And we have an mp.uint8. Then we're going to have what's called a background model. It's going to be mp.0. So this is just some array that it uses internally for the algorithm. And it's going to be float64. And similarly, we're going to do this for the foreground, which we'll just call this uh, fgd. Okay. So the location that we'll be looking at is going to be x0. So this is the location of the car, which we've predetermined. So x naught of 360, and then y naught of here, y naught of 1470, and then x1 is the end location, which is 2800, and then y1 is going to be 3700. So we define the rectangle as the starting location, x naught, y naught and the size of the rectangle. So x1 minus uh, x0, and then y1 minus y0. Okay, and then the iteration is how many times we want to run it. I found one works 
good enough for us, so we will be doing that. So now we call the CV dot graph cut the grab cut function, and then here here we're gonna take a look at um, the actual method. So if if I run this, what we're gonna see is one second. Okay, so we have our CV grab cut, and inside we're gonna pass in our image and then mask. Uh, our rectangle, and then we have our background model, our foreground model, our iteration, and then the method. Here we have GC init, and we're initializing with a rectangle. So we do plt dot um show, and the mask. It's gonna pass in the mask and then update it. What the new mask is. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So if I plot this, it's pretty. Um, computational, so it'll take a little bit to run. But after it runs it, we should see the segmented mask. So here you can see that it defines um, the part that the, the rectangle that we drew was in green. So it has identified that as area 2, and then the car as area 3. So those are the areas that um, we, we decide we want to keep or throw out. So um, we're going to end up throwing out the regions are zero and two, okay? But notice that um, there was an area that we didn't quite like, so we could try to fix that missing spot. Um, but first off, let's go ahead and apply this mask to our image. So if I do uh, plt dot subplot and then two three three, and we're gonna call a mask, call this gc. And we're going to do mp dot where mask equals two uh, or mask e equals zero. So wherever is that, we're going to replace it with a zero and otherwise one. And then convert the data type to uint eight. And our segmented image is going to be image times the mask. And we're going to Use um, colon colon and then mp dot new axis to make it to, to make the mask the right size. And then plt dot um show and you know, pass in the segmented result. So let's go ahead and see how the segmented result looks like. So the scrap cut method takes a while, so uh, we'll see how it looks like. Okay, so after it has done running, you can see that. Um, here, the part that we talked about, the part of the, the light that is missing, we'll see how we could try to get rid of or fill that in using some of our manual intervention. Okay, so here we're going to do something new. We're going to do uh, plt.subplot here, 2, 3, 4. And what we're going to do is we actually went ahead and mark, mark the image. So you can mark it with like white or black, depending on if you know it's supposed to be background or foreground. So we went go went ahead and marked it. So our new image that we are going to use to add on to our mask is going to be called mask path, and then os dot path um, dot join, and then we have root um, root demo images tesla dot jpeg, and we're going to call this tesla. That new image is called graphcut.jpg. Okay, so that's the mask. And then we're going to say mask uh, marked mask equals 255. So wherever it's 255, um, we want to read this in. So that's the path. And then we have, um, we're going to call this marked mask equals cv.umread. So we're going to actually read it in the mask path and then cv dot um, read uh, grayscale. So we have our marked mask. Wherever the marked mask is 255, we're going to set that equal to 1. And we're still going to use iteration of 1. So we'll just leave that alone. And then cv dot grab cut and pass an image and then the mask. So here, the rectangle, we're not using a rectangle method anymore. So we will ignore that. And then we have our foreground model, 
our iter and then CV. So here's the difference. We're going to now use uh, GC init with um, the mask. So if I do plt.amshow um, mask, we should see our updated mask. Okay, so if I run this and wait a little bit, okay, so after it has done running, you can see uh, this new region here. This is where I went ahead and marked it in. You can see it looks like a potato, um, but you can see the part that I marked in is uh, like a different shade of blue, like a grayish blue, but those are marked as values of one, but you can see everywhere in between has now become yellow. So what this tells us is that it's going to try to use that area to fill in during our segmentation as considering that as foreground. But as a consequence, you could see that now there's certain regions that it thinks is background um, because maybe of like similar color and it's just trying, it's incorrectly redistributing. But you fix one problem, cause another, but um, we won't go ahead and like make it perfect. But this is just to show you that you can use these techniques of manually filling in to solve these problems. Okay, so let's see how the result looks like. If I close this, um, let's go ahead and write out the code. So it's going to be very similar to this. So why not just paste it here? And this will be five. So we have the same same mask, and then we have image times the new mask. Okay, so that should look good. Now, if I go ahead and run this, we should see the new result. Okay, so it has finished running, and you can see that if I zoom in, it has now filled in the missing area that, that we saw up here. Okay, but like I said, it's, it costs new problems of uh, filling in extra stuff. So if you want to make this perfect, you go in and draw, draw in the areas that you don't want to keep. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.